take the vote of thanks, we can see a very slight amendment of the program. We take the vote of thanks by the sole administrator, Kaurenda Moda, and then His Excellency will move on to inspect the project and commission the project. Your Excellency, it is with your permission that uh, we make this modification of what we have today. Are you ready? Your Excellency, may we rise for the national anthem. Thank you very much. You may wish to take your seat, Your Excellency. Thank you so much. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, may peace and the blessings of Allah be upon the noble Prophet Muhammad wasallam, his companions, and all those who follow his teachings till the last day of resurrection. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Zamfar State, Dauda Lawal, Honorable Speakers and for the State House of Assembly, Secretary to the State Government, Commissioners, Special Advisors, Special Assistants, Your Royal Highnesses here present, the PDP State Chairman, Dr. Jamil Jibu Magayaki, and his Secretary, Honorable Nazir Ibrahim, Publicity Secretary Haliru Andi, other party officials, elders, distinguished gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Distinguished guest, some few months back, His Excellency was at this hospital and what he saw was an eye saw and promised to rehabilitate it, give it a total reconstruction and rehabilitation with equipments and everything. And here we are today to celebrate the practical translation of that commitment of His Excellency that he has made to the people of Kaurana Namoda. Before we commence, please let's put our hands together to His Excellency for his commitment and matching his words with action. Your Excellency, before we commence, let us seek for the blessings and guidance of Almighty Allah, our Creator, by inviting the Honorable Grand Dikadi Zamfara State, Dr. Dahir Muhammad Gusau, to give us the opening prayer. Honorable Grand Dikadi, sir. Allahumma 
wannan aiki da mu girma gumu da dauko na ci gaba wannan jiha mutane suna munna muna da kuma Allah Allah ya dafa maka Allah ya taimaka maka Allah baka nasara Allah sa kare mulkin ka lafiya a cikin jin dadi da kwarjini da farin jini ga jama'a dan albarka alqur'an Allah ba mu lafiya da zaman lafiya a cikin jahan mu da arewar najira gaba dai subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun alal mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Thank you very much uh, honorable grand kadi may Allah accept your prayers and bring us lasting peace and development in Zamfara state Your excellency may I invite the honorable commissioner ministry for health Hajia Dr Aisha MZ Anka to welcome you and other esteemed guests to this occasion أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Your Excellency the Executive Governor of Zamfara State Dr. Dauda Lawal the Right Honorable Speaker the Honorable Commissioners the Special Advisors the Grand Kadi the Honorable Members of Zamfara State Assembly Your Your Royal Highness the Emir of Kaura the sole administrators, our royal fathers, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is with great pleasure and immense pride that I welcome you all to this significant occasion, the commissioning ceremony of the renovated and equipped General Hospital, Auran Namoda. Let me begin by expressing my deepest gratitude to our amiable, industrious, and equestrian governor, His Excellency, Dr. Dauda Lawal. Indeed, sir, you have shown dynamism, focus, efficiency, and candor in the way you have piloted the affairs of our dear state so far, especially in the health sector. Sir, let me inform you today that you are the most health-friendly governor in the country. <laughs> Sir, your purposeful leadership, steadfastness, and genuine commitment to rescue our state entirely has made your administration a role model and a reference point for other states to emulate in Nigeria. Your Excellency, sir, you have prioritized the health sector as evident by the following. One, declaration of state of emergency on health sector. Two, you have met with international donor agencies to support your declarations technical areas. Three, you have commenced remodeling and upgrading of Ahmed Sani Yarim Mbakura Specialist Hospital to the status of a teaching hospital. Four, you have improved the salary package of civil servants, including health workers, in the state. Five, you have also approved the recruitment of all cadres of health care service providers. Six, you have approved free antenatal care, free hospital delivery, and free emergency cesarean section to reduce maternal death. You have renovated and upgraded General Hospital Nasarao Burukullu, General Hospital Maradun, General Hospital Gurzao, General Hospital Maru, and so on and so forth. Today, we are gathered here to commission the renovation and equipping of General Hospital Kaura Namoda, which was executed with meticulous attention to details aimed to provide a conducive environment to both patients and healthcare providers. 
This project consists of two important components. The first component is the civil work, under which we have the new construction and renovation. The new construction includes laboratory department, dental department, x-ray department, and the new hospital entrance gate. While the renovation includes the administrative block, the theater, general outpatient department, male ward, female ward, pediatric ward, eye clinic, maternity ward, medical director's office, uh, medical director's house, nurse's house, chief nursing officer's house, hospital laundry, as well as the hospital kitchen. The second important component of this project is the provision of state-of-art medical equipment, and these include automatic hematology analyzer, centrifuge machine, digital x-ray machine, ECG machine, electric suction machine, electrodiatomy machine, electrophoresis machine, delivery beds, ward beds and mattresses, to mention but a few. Ladies and gentlemen, now that this hospital is equipped with state-of-art facilities that will significantly bolster our healthcare services delivery, it will also enable us to cater for the healthcare needs of our people. It is a pivotal step towards achieving the goals of universal health care coverage and improving health outcomes in our dear state. Finally, I wish to commend the effort of the contractor for a, well, for a job well done. For the people of Kauran Namo, the local government, and my professional colleagues, let me reaffirm our commitment to support this administration's effort by maintaining and utilizing this facility effectively. Let us ensure that it serves as a center of healing, compassion, and excellence in healthcare delivery. Once again, I extend a warm welcome to everyone, and thank you for gracing this occasion. Together, let us continue to strive towards a healthier and more prosperous Zamfara state. Masalam. Dala kada taba ma commissioner. Tai do gon turan ci mun ta jin sunayen wasu na urorin asibiti wadanda ga internet muke ganin su ta ce duka akwai su yanzu a ja Allah ya saka da alheri your excellency. Your excellency akwai kauran namo da cultural troupe mun sha zuwa bukukuwa suna neman dama yau ina so ka ba su minti biyu su fadi menene suke da shi. Kauran namo da cultural troupe na ba ku minti biyu kawai da izinin mai girma gwamna. Hey, 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 hey,
Yanzushi gata ka uga Maigida Don haka protocol minti daya Akwe dang aiki ndizamu hika pin Maigida itasu Wanna nzi kuu macha hiku Aiki mkuni hiku hau kwe aiki mkuni Protocol Gentlemen of the press, thanks. Please set your as you want them. Before they said this, let us recall how this hospital looked like. Sometimes people will just feel as if are they really dreaming or they are, are they in the right place or they missed their road. And this is what transformation is all about. Your Excellency, you have taken time to change the narratives in the state. In fact, the way you approach politics has given the people the feelings that politicians are not liars. They are highly responsive and responsible individuals that give their life and their time for the development of the state. Please, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, having said everything, I now have the honor and privilege to welcome His Excellency to the podium for his speech. Just before that, I recognize the presence of the Commissioner of Police. He has been here with us. Shaitan Rajim Bismillah Rahman Rahim The Honorable Speaker Zambra State House of Assembly Honorable Commissioners and Advisors Our Grand Cadi Chairman PDP Chapter Zamfar State and his ESCO members. Security agencies that are here with us. Our royal fathers. Invited guests. Members of the press. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. Let me begin by expressing gratitude to Almighty Allah for allowing us together in this historic commercial town of Aranamoda to inaugurate the fully renovated General Hospital Aranamoda. This health facility which serve the people of Karanamoda and it is neighboring communities 
has now been equipped to deliver quality healthcare service effectively. It is important to note that while primary health care facilities remain the primary source of health care for most of the populace, addressing the broader health needs of the general population, secondary health care facilities like this general hospital are critical for providing more advanced care. Therefore, these facilities must be made accessible and affordable to the people in line with SDG goal number three, which aspires to ensure health and well-being for all a significant focus of this administration. Distinguished personalities, ladies and gentlemen, as I have repeatedly stated, the central focus of this administration, which by the will of Allah, Azim office a year ago, is to revitalize the early infrastructure and address the decay across virtually all sectors of the economy. This vision guided our decision to develop a transformation agenda comprising six pillars which has been the third pillar following education as well as security. Our objective in Revitalizing Hospital is to ensure the quality health care services are available to our people, whether in rural communities or urban and semi-urban centers. This understanding led us to renovate and rehabilitate the liberated healthcare centers, especially in critical towns like Auran Namoda, which is strategically located among the other local government and serving as a reference point of many surrounding communities. I'm delighted to report that in the last 14 months, we have made significant strides in improving the health sector by investing in renovating and upgrading hospital and primary health care centers across the states. We are also concluding plans to recruit and train more health workers, procure essential drugs and equipment, and introduce free maternal and child health services. This intervention, we hope, will result in improved health outcomes for our people through the reduction in maternal mortality, infant mortality, and mobility rates across the state. Today's inauguration demonstrates our commitment to providing quality health care service for all residents of Zamfara, regardless of their location, status, or income. The project scope includes the complete renovation of the hospital, providing 32 kilowatts of steady solar power, installing 25 street lights, and supplying essential medical equipment. With the successful completion of this facility, I'm confident that the people of Karanamoda and neighboring towns and villages will now have access to affordable, quality healthcare services. The people of Karanamoda, Birnum Magaji, Shinkafi, Zurumi, and the surrounding communities now, you don't need to go to Gusau to get medical attention, inshallah. I pray that this project, along all other projects we have undertaken the state, in the state, as we mark one year in office, will serve the intended purposes 
and that the benefiting communities will make the best use of them and safeguard them for prosperity. Finally, I thank everyone for attending and pray that Almighty Allah will continue to be our source of hope, guidance, and inspiration. I also wish to take this opportunity to commiserate with the various communities across the state affected by flooding due to excessive rainstorm within the last one week or thereabout. May Allah ease our burdens and grant us a bountiful harvest this rainy season. I also want to solicit your prayers, dear people of Zamfara State, for restoring peace and normalcy in our beloved state. Like the Commissioner of Health rightly mentioned, we've undertaken to upgrade all our hospitals. We started with Nasaram Burkulu. We have done Maru. As a matter of fact, in the next one week, we will go to Maru and commission similar projects with the same equipment. Inshallah. We have done that also in Maradin. We have done it here today in Karanamoda. Inshallah, like she rightly mentioned, you remember Kura Specialist Hospital in a matter of month will be one of the best hospitals fully equipped in Nigeria, inshallah. Therefore, our declaration of emergency in the health sector is working. It was a promise we made, and by the grace of Almighty Allah today, we are fulfilling this promise in our Namoda, and it will continue to go around the state by the grace of Almighty Allah. I'm appealing to you, we spent so much money to build and upgrade this hospital. We spent so much money to equip this hospital with modern facilities and therefore, we should not take it for granted. We should do our best to make sure it is functional. We are providing drugs across all the local government in our primary health care centers as well as our hospitals. We want to make sure every person can go to hospital and be attended to. That is the goal of this administration, and inshallah, it will continue by the grace of Allah. As we speak, in some of the trips that we made, we were able to scale about 6.7 billion naira. That money will be used to fully equip all the primary health cares in Zamfara State, beginning from next week, inshallah. I pray to Almighty Allah to continue to put us on the right path where we'll deliver justice as well as deliver the dividend of democracy. That is what leadership is all about. I thank you for listening and I thank you for the cooperation and I pray that by the time we commissioned this project today. It will begin to serve the people of Aranamoda as well as the communities around this area. Health sector is important and will continue to give it priority by the grace of Allah. I thank you. Assalamu alaikum al umar Aranamoda. Idan za ku iya tunawa ɗan watanni kaɗan da suka wuce na zo wannan gari kuma na dasa cibiyar wannan aiki kuma nemo ku alƙawarin cewa da ikon Allah za mu canza wannan asibiti 
yanda duk wani talaka da mai kudi da kowa mace da namiji yaro da mace baba za su samu kyakkyawar kula wajen kiwon lafiya alhamdulillah wannan alƙawari da ni yau na cika muku ko ga nau ne ba yo ba amfani shugaba da alƙawari ya cika mun gode ma Allah Allah ya ba mu wannan dama kuma mun cika muku wannan alƙawari Allah shi kawo rawa lafiya ya dode ta yaske Allah ka sala fira tana a wata azumi fara ciki Allah Allah shi kawo rawa furin motion ya dode da sabon gauna Dauda Popolis 4 Allah shi kawo rawa lafiya malamai magada annaba Allah ka saka yi haka Allah shi kawo rawa lafiya Hello 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 here The governor is actually inspecting the general hospital. He just finished an engagement with some of the staff of the hospital and he signed the register. Now he's moving ahead to different parts of the hospital that were recently renovated to inspect and see for himself the quality of work put in place to ensure access to healthcare here in Oran Namoda, local government of the state. This tour is an opportunity for the governor to personally assess the upgrades and ensure that the new facilities meet the highest standards of healthcare. The governor is taking a close look at the various departments, including the brand new dental clinic and the fully equipped laboratory. These facilities are set to provide comprehensive medical services to the people of Oranamoda and beyond. Places that were renovated included the female ward, the male ward, the laboratory, and a brand new dental clinic was constructed. This kind of renovation is expected to take place in all the 40 local government areas of the state. you could remember the governor actually declared state of emergency on health early last year and the governor now is still interacting with some of the officials of the hospital he's accompanied with some 
of the government officials. He is expressing his satisfaction with the level of work done by the Ministry of Health. Parts of the effort by the governor of the state to ensure easy access to health care include free antenatal care for women and free treatment for under five children across the state. He continued to interact with the officials of the hospital. This underscores his commitment to ensure that health care is delivered to the people in the state and beyond. New facilities have been put in place, which include scanning machines, blood mixing machines, hospital beds, and many more. The governor is still walking around the hospital, moving from one department to the other to ensure that he inspects the hospital. He's also accompanied by a traditional leader who is the ward head, who is the district head of the local government and the local government chairman also Kasim Mukawara is with the governor at the moment. The people of Aurangamoda are excited following this great achievement by the governor. Each word in the hospital has a capacity of about 40 beds and women and children are expected to get free health care here in this hospital and other general hospitals in the state. This renovation will take place in all the 14 local government areas. continued to move around the hospital. Along with this government official, the Commissioner of Health, Hajia Aisha Anka, is leading in the inspection. The governor is also heading to a new department where he will check the facilities being put in place. Kauranamoda is one of the local governments with the highest population in the state. And these people are expected to have easy access to healthcare services following the renovation of this hospital.
This general hospital is located in the heart of Gauran Namuja local government. And this will enable neighboring villages, people from neighbor, neighboring villages, to access health care at this hospital. And women and children are expected to get free health care. The governor is now coming out of this department. The governor is still moving around the hospital, waving at his supporters, along with his officials. The administrative blocks was renovated. A brand new dental clinic was built, and the laboratory is now fully equipped state of the art occupant. This inspection underscores the importance of the governor. It underscores the importance the governor places on first-hand evaluation of state projects, ensuring that the promise made to the people of Zampara are fully realized. This same effort put in place here in Kaura Namoda is expected to take place in other local governments. Fully equipped hospital with state of the art equipment. Brand new dental clinic 